You can import data from spreadsheets and comma-separated value files using the Import tool. We will look at importing numeric and string data, handling missing data, and generating MATLAB code. Let's say that you wanted to import from this spreadsheet. It contains some column headers, string data, and a block of numeric data. Double-click on the file in the current folder browser or click on the Import Data icon in the Home tab of the toolstrip and select the file you want to import. The Import tool that appears lets you specify what data to import and how to import it. Initially, the first worksheet is selected, but that can be changed by clicking here. By default, the tool assumes that you wish to import your data as column vectors. This is particularly useful if you have column data with associated headers. The headers are used as the variable names by default. The tool searches for and selects an array of contiguous numeric data. In doing so, it finds and ignores any headers or string data. However, you can expand the region to include your text data. Instead of importing the data as column vectors, you can import it as a numeric matrix. If this is the data that you wish to import, you can change the default variable name here if needed. And click Import. You can see the variable is now in the workspace. If this is not the region that you wish to import, you can change it by setting a different range here or by highlighting the section that you wish to import. You can build a section out of multiple regions incrementally. As we are importing a matrix, a 2D shape is enforced. As well as importing a matrix of numeric data, you can bring the data in as a cell array or as a data set array if you have access to the statistics toolbox. You can import comma-separated files. Viewing outside of MATLAB, we can see this file has some missing and non-numeric values instead of data. When you open it, you can replace them using rules. Here, a default rule replaces unimportable cells with NANDs. You can set blanks to zeros. If you hover over a cell, you can see the replacement value. Note that all rules are applied progressively, applying to each element only once. Any values not covered by rules are designated unimportable values and highlighted in red, and the import button is disabled. Alternatively, we could exclude all rows or columns with unimportable cells. And if your spreadsheet contains date strings, such as this spreadsheet, when you open it, a default rule to convert the dates to numeric date nums is provided. Once again, if you hover over a cell, you can see how it will be converted. Note that this import tool provides a view into a spreadsheet, and as such, each spreadsheet is treated as a document and multiple can be opened simultaneously, just like editor files. And finally, as well as importing the data interactively, you can generate a MATLAB script or function that allows you to automate this task programmatically. The comments at the top of the function include example syntax to call the generated function. That concludes the video. You can try these features in MATLAB now or see the documentation for more information.